I'm a little surprised actually at how much of an effect this has had on my diet, my life, my digestion, my hydration, everything that you can possibly think of in the world of weight loss, uh, health, and, and, and everything else. So I wanted to make a video about this because it is kind of shocking to me how much this has affected things. And that is the processed food that I was eating. And I was only having those fake meatballs by uh, Gardein. I, I wouldn't have the Beyond ones. I wouldn't have the Impossible ones because those things have crazy amounts of fat, fat in them. And I didn't want to have any... I, I didn't want to have that much fat in my diet, but I cannot believe how much my digestion has gotten better. I cannot believe how much easier it is to get hydrated. I cannot believe just like 10 pounds in a month. Now, I haven't weighed myself, and I think if you weigh yourself every day or even like every week, I, I, I don't know if that's a very good barometer. I think the once a month thing, maybe... I, I, th I think that kind of judging your clothes is a really good thing, uh, you know, but I mean, do whatever you want to, but I find that like the more you weigh yourself, the more anxiety you kind of get and you don't know, like you, you might go to the bathroom 10 minutes after you, you know, weighed yourself and you might weigh, I don't know how many pounds less. So doing it daily, even doing it weekly, I don't think is a very good idea, but back to the processed food, I could not believe, now it wasn't noticeable at first, like I started this five and a half-ish weeks ago. And I'm not saying that I'm like Mr. Skinny or something like that, nor do I think that'll ever really happen. I don't really want to be too slender. I just want to get the excess weight off. The amount of just the flow, like, I, and it's weird. I know this is TMI, but I got stuff coming out number two <laughs> that I haven't eaten for a month, for over a month. And it's, it's coming out and I'm like, Phew doesn't make any sense. I'm talking about corn here. I haven't had corn in over uh, like five weeks and yet some still comes out. I'm like, where were you? I, I have gone through this before. I have gone through, you know, detox periods, especially after I went raw vegan. I had stuff coming out of me. I had worms coming out of me. I had parasites coming out of me. I had all kind of crazy stuff coming out of me. I don't know what this corn is doing. I don't know where it was. Maybe it was every time I had corn, I think I was actually having those those uh, fake meatballs. Maybe they had something to do with it. I don't know. It, it, it just, uh, it's crazy to me. So if you are having a hard time on whatever high carb, low fat thing that you're doing and you're adding some of this stuff in, now I know it looks low carb or low fat to you. It really is. Like four of those things or something like that is seven grams of fat, maybe, and I was only having three, but I think it's just the processed food as it is, like the way they do it or whatever it is. Now, some people can get away with this and it really doesn't matter. You know, some people can get away with a lot of this stuff, but I am one of those people that I can't eat a lot of ingredients all at once. I can't, I can't do that. Like lately, like last couple of days, I've just literally made sticky rice, made uh, uh, rolls, wraps out of it, sushi, basically cut it like sushi and just ate it with uh, tonkatsu. I, I don't know why. I always used to, like, I, I have this weird thing where I'll just say these random words. And tonkatsu is, like, one of them that I always used to say. So when I was at the Asian store and I seen it on the, the shelf, I'm like, I got to get this. Now, I know that's processed. I understand. But there's no fat in that whatsoever. So that's, that's the difference. Like, if there's a lot of fat or oil, seed oils or whatever in it, stay away from it. Processed, like, condiments, like ketchup or something like that. Haven't had an issue with that mustard. Haven't had an issue with that. Haven't had an issue with soy sauce or tonkatsu or whatever other sauce that there is. I've only been having issues with anything that's got seed oil in it. Now, I know the Japanese barbecue sauce that I use does have a little bit of... Uh, I forget which, which oil it is. It's the last ingredient. It's so little that they don't even list any grams of fat on the condiment. So that one's questionable, but the rest of them have, have nothing in it whatsoever other than, you know, sugar or corn starch or whatever, you know, t tends to be in, in these things. I know that a lot of Asian stuff uses a lot of uh, xanthan gum and corn starch. So I do try to stay away from xanthan gum for whatever reason, even though, you know, it's it is what it is. But if you are having a hard time with this, I would definitely suggest 
cutting all of that out and getting as bare bones as possible. I've basically converted the rice diet into the rice potato diet because it seems like every other day or every third day I'm having a lot of potatoes and the, the rest of the days I'm having uh, rice. And it's kind of just, it's I kind of converted it into my own thing. It, it, it is, you know, it is what it is. I, I've really liked it. Now, like I said in one of my videos, a couple videos ago, I did actually start having an issue with not having enough glycogen stores. So I had to add the rice back in. Then somebody did point out the fact, and I don't know if this is true or not. I have heard him say this, but I, I, and there's no way to prove it. Medical medium claims that if you boil potatoes in water and you dump that water, you dump like essentially all the glycogen from the potato with the water. Maybe that's possible. I have no idea. Maybe that's why mashed potatoes fill you up so fast and they kind of last a while. Whereas if you make fries or something like that, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is there. I do know that things got a lot better when I added in rice. I also know that when I talked to Durian Ryder about this in one of the interviews I did, he also said that when he added rice into his diet, that was a complete game changer. So take that with uh, what you will. Drop all the processed stuff that has any kind of oil in it whatsoever and see how that goes. Another thing, <laughs> when people say processed sugar, oh, it just, it's always donuts, it's always croissants, cakes, whatever it is, it's not actually processed sugar. Processed sugar is raw sugar in a, in a container that you put into things, which does not actually harm you at all, at all. Donuts. On the other hand, or is the complete opposite of that? You cannot say that a donut is the same thing as just plain old table sugar or plain old or Florida crystals, which is the one I really like. You can't say that. it's not it's not comparable at all. Uh, apparently, that um, the one day doctor that Ray Pete apparently he said that sugar is actually a superfood. It's the only superfood that there is. I did not actually hear him say that, but I have seen people say that in my comment section a couple of times, so maybe he did say it. If you do know where he said that, please link that video down in the comment section. That way I can go do like a reaction video or something like that to that particular thing. I've also had Georgie, Dink Georgie Dinkov on here who has Hydute.me, which is his site where he lists all the research that he does. And it's insane how much research has been done on sugar and how beneficial sugar is. And I did my own experiment with it. It was like a two, I think it was a two months experiment. It was two years ago now where I was adding a pound of sugar a day. I forget, I forget the exact amount of time, but I doubled my testosterone. I had the blood tests and everything that where you can see everything that I did. It was crazy. It was crazy. And I was losing weight too, adding a pound of sugar in. Now, everybody's like, well, why didn't you keep doing it? I did start actually having an issue with digestion. Now, maybe that's because I was using just plain old, from all the, the little four pound cubes of sugar, maybe they have glyphosates in that. I've never had a gut issue with Florida crystals or raw sugar or organic sugar. I've never had a gut issue with that. So if I ever did the experiment again, it would definitely not be with the real white um, sugar that you get at Aldi or whatever other store that you go to. So when you're talking about processed sugar, I'm not talking about dehydrated juiced grass, basically, which is what cane sugar is. It's not comparable. I mean, we used to have sugar on the table all the time. When I was growing up, when everybody was skinny, we had sugar on the table all the time. And if you look at the diagram, which I posted in a few, a few videos ago, the decline of sugar intake has been in incredible. It's almost gone. There's almost no sugar consumption whatsoever since 1980, if you look at the graph. But uh, the alternatives are like crazy. Like they're climbing just as high as the obesity rate. So put two and two together, who knows? But then you've also got these rancid oils that everybody's eating too. So, I mean, it has some, there's, there's a truth in there somewhere. There's a truth in there somewhere. That is my video. Uh, I did have a lot of people ask me why I didn't add sugar into 
the rice diet when I was doing it. Well, I still doing it. I did a couple of days, but that mango tango or whatever juice that I get from Whole, uh, not Whole, from Trader Joe's, that shit is like sugar. It is just like drinking sugar. I, I, I didn't even need sugar. This stuff is, if you have a Trader Joe's, I think it's called Mango Tango, Organic Mango Tango. It's like, it's so good. Maybe I'll do a short about it. It's so good. So look for that. I have not tried any of the other juices. Maybe I should. I got to go there today. So maybe I'll check it out. I don't know. Anyway, that is the video. That is my experience so far. I don't know what I weigh. I'm hoping to be in the 260s the next time I weigh myself. That would be splendid. Another thing that I want to say before I go is the seller sizer. It's been such an amazing part of this whole thing. It really has. I finally can do over a half an hour on that thing. Uh, my foot's cooperating. It's been so nice. Might be the, one of the main reasons that I lost the weight the last, uh, you know, that, that last month. Who knows? Probably the diet. That might have improved my, my digestion too. I, I don't know. If you are having digestion issues, Go for a walk. And one of my favorite things to do is at night, after you're done, you're done eating, your stomach is kind of full, go for a walk. Most of the time when you do that, you barely even make it back to the house because you you got, you got business to go do. So try that out if you are having digestion issues. I am somebody who can base, I probably could make videos and videos and videos about digestion issues because I have had them for a very long time, ever since... I basically gave myself fatty liver uh, and messed up my kidneys. I've had digestion issues because I never had them prior to that. They used to call me like Iron Gut Mike or Iron Mike or whatever it was. I used to be able to eat whatever I wanted to. Now I had the corresponding amount of gas, uh, but I never was constipated or anything like that. But ever since, you know, so, but I, it's been very, very on track especially after dropping the fake meat. So anyway, hopefully that helped you. If it did, leave comments, questions down below. Uh, I'm just going to keep making rice potato diet uh, videos because it really has... I Had I done this two years ago and just stuck with it, I can only imagine where I'd be. Uh, this is five or six weeks. In, I guess Saturday of this week will be six, week, six weeks in, something like that. So I've been really liking it. Anyway, talk to you in the next one.